In the course of many chronic diseases, our nervous system, including nerve fibers, is destroyed by various factors, including chronic inflammation. This causes the outer part of the nerve fibers, the myelin sheaths, to become weakened and less protective of the nerves. These sheaths are sometimes destroyed to the point of disappearing, causing the flow of impulses in the nerves to be disrupted. This, in turn, disrupts the functioning of organs or areas innervated by the damaged nerves, resulting in side effects in our body, such as numbness or weakened organ function. Examples of such chronic diseases that have a devastating effect on nerve sheaths and the nervous system include diabetes and autoimmune diseases, where inflammation and oxidative stress are the main factors damaging the nerves. Remember, that poor functioning of the nervous system means poor functioning of the entire body. Therefore, in this episode, I will talk about which vitamins or natural substances can help us regenerate the nervous system, mainly by influencing the rebuilding of the myelin sheaths that surround nerve fibers, ensuring their proper functioning. So, which vitamins should we focus on to support the rebuilding of the nervous system? Undoubtedly, the most important vitamins in this context are the B vitamins. In this group, vitamin B12 deserves special attention, as its deficiency causes demyelination, the loss of myelin, the protective layer that surrounds our nerves. Its adequate supply not only ensures the proper functioning of nerve cell sheaths, but also initiates their regeneration. Let's answer the question, why? As we read, in a 2020 study, vitamin B12 is involved in the synthesis of genetic material that produces myelin. Thus, it acts as a kind of switch for the creation of nerve sheaths. After vitamin B12, the next vitamin particularly important for nervous system regeneration is folic acid, or vitamin B9. Vitamin B9, like vitamin B12, not only determines the proper functioning of our nervous system, but also initiates the formation of nerve sheaths that surround nerves. However, unlike vitamin B12, folic acid initiates the formation of nerve sheaths at a different stage. At what stage? The answer to this question is already in the title of a 2019 study which reads, Folic acid contributes to peripheral nerve injury repair by promoting Schwann cell proliferation, migration, and secretion of nerve growth factor. So, it is vitamin B9 that contributes to the production of a factor that initiates the proliferation and growth of myelin cells, which form the sheath for nerves, namely Schwann cells. This is one of the reasons why a lack of folic acid during pregnancy is a major cause of congenital nervous system defects in children. What other B vitamins help us regenerate? The nervous system, well, vitamin B5 regenerates nerve sheaths because it is a precursor to a compound called acetyl-CoA. This compound, which is formed from vitamin B5, is essential for creating such bonds in the sheath that look like intertwined chains, thus forming a stronger sheath structure. As we read in a study, on the effect of vitamin B5 on myelin sheaths in the brain, acetyl-CoA formed from vitamin B5 is necessary for synthesis of the complex fatty acyl chains of myelin and of the neurotransmitter acetylcholine. In the process of nervous system regeneration, vitamin B1 is also important, as it has quite unique properties. Its effect on the production of nerve sheaths is twofold. It acts similarly to vitamin B12 and folic acid. And the last, B vitamin on our list is vitamin B7, or biotin, which interestingly activates enzymes involved in the production of energy needed to build the myelin sheath. It has a unique property that no other B vitamin has. In this regard, I came across extremely interesting results from a scientific study on patients with multiple sclerosis, a disease in which myelin sheaths are destroyed. They were given this vitamin at a dose of 300 milligrams per day, the maximum allowable dose. As a result, 89% of patients showed improvement in the spinal cord. But importantly, this improvement occurred only two to eight months after starting to take this vitamin. I quoted this scientific study for a reason, as it ends with a rather important sentence. A sentence that says that for B vitamins to show their effects, especially in terms of nervous system regeneration, time is needed and more time. In this case, from two to eight months. Well, we have already covered B vitamins and their impact on the regeneration of our nervous system. Let's move on to other dietary components. 
that can help us maintain our nervous system's health and support its rebuilding. The next vitamin essential for the proper functioning of the nervous system is vitamin C. We read about this in a 2021 study titled Vitamin C Regulates Schwann Cell Myelination by promoting DNA demethylation of promyelinating genes, which promote the formation of sheaths, that is, myelin. Another vitamin worth mentioning is vitamin K. To confirm its regenerative effect on our nervous system and myelin, just look at the following scientific data. In a 2018 study, we read that vitamin K enhances the production of sulfatides in the brain during remyelination, that is, the restoration of myelin sheaths. The action of vitamin K is truly unique among all fat-soluble vitamins, as it begins to act, that is, produce the material from which the sheath is built, but only when pathological processes of myelin sheath destruction occur, for example, due to inflammation. Where can you find vitamin K in the natural environment? Just follow the green color and you will surely find it. I recommend reaching for broccoli, kale, spinach, arugula, or asparagus. The next two compounds I will talk about are natural substances with the ability to regenerate large nerves, such as the sciatic nerve or the facial nerve. However, the studies I will now discuss were conducted on animals, but the results obtained are significant enough that I would like to mention them. These two natural substances are vitamin D and lithium. In the first of these studies, we read that vitamin D3 improves myelination and recovery after nerve injury. In the second, lithium enhances remyelination of peripheral nerves, that is, the formation of nerve sheaths. Next, it is very briefly necessary to mention that iron has an impact on the proper formation of myelin sheaths. In a study titled Oligodendrocytes and Myelination, the role of iron, we read, the importance of iron in myelin production has been demonstrated by studies showing that decreased availability of iron in the diet is associated with hypomyelination, that is, reduced ability to form nerve sheaths. This study should be interpreted in such a way that if we lack iron in our diet, effective rebuilding of myelin sheaths will be impossible. Now let's talk about omega fatty acids. They are essential components and play a crucial role as one of the main building blocks of our nerve sheaths. These compounds are incredibly beneficial, not only for preventing issues in the nervous system, but also for supporting its repair and regeneration. A particularly important dietary component is DHA, which you will find in fatty sea fish. Scientific studies show that its too low intake in the diet negatively affects its concentration in our brain, which affects the functioning of the myelin sheath itself. The question of why omega-3 fatty acids help regenerate nerve sheaths has a very straightforward answer. Omega-3 fatty acids, including DHA, are found in high concentrations in the cell membranes of nerve sheaths. The second important feature of these fatty acids is that they have anti-inflammatory effects, and I remind you that inflammation destroys nerve sheaths. Therefore, these compounds have a dual effect in regenerating myelin sheaths. And next on our list today is lecithin. Lecithin is a mixture of various fat-like compounds. It includes fatty acids and glycerol, which are very important for health phospholipids. Why is it worth incorporating them into the diet if we want to rebuild our nerve sheaths? The answer is very simple. Lecithin is one of the important components of myelin itself. Therefore, by providing building blocks for the construction of nerve sheaths, we make them stronger and regenerate faster. Well, to refresh the brain, Let's move away from vitamins and dietary components for a moment, to which we will return and move on to sleep, which is a powerful tool that regenerates our nervous system. It turns out that when we sleep, something amazing happens with our nerve cells. Scientists have proven that sleep increases the number of cells that give rise to myelin, that is, nerve sheaths. They noticed that their number doubles during sleep especially in the phase during which we experience dreams. Therefore, I will repeat ad nauseum that we must take care of proper sleep hygiene. That is why in the afternoon, please limit exposure to blue light, which disrupts the production of the sleep hormone, melatonin. Please look less at computer or smartphone screens. Before going to bed, it is worth lowering the temperature in the room, ventilating the room, and engaging in activities that relax and put you in a relaxed state. What other methods support the regeneration of the nervous system? Well, learning new skills also supports the regeneration of this system. What exactly am I talking about? I mean, for example, learning to play a musical instrument. 
Reports from the scientific world indicate that the level of a factor called BDNF, which is directly vital for nerve sheaths, is significantly higher in people who learn to play an instrument. Finally, let's talk about a substance that is not a vitamin, but has the potential to regenerate our nervous system. It is quercetin. Quercetin is a natural plant pigment found in many fruits and vegetables. It is found, among others, in green tea leaves, onions, broccoli, apples, grapes, and berries. According to scientific research, the presence of quercetin in the diet during many diseases positively affects the proliferation of myelin precursors, that is, nerve sheaths. In scientific studies, we can read that it is quercetin, alongside luteolin and fisetin, that inhibits, of course in quotes, the eating of myelin by immune system cells called macrophages. That wraps up today's video. Thank you for watching. If you found this information helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more science-backed insights on health and wellness. See you in the next episode. Take care and stay healthy.